All right. Um, actually, this isn't really what the whole video is going to be about. I just wanted to throw this in here really quick. Um, I've been seeing this number like crazy for the last three days. Um, and I've talked about it before with the Queen. Um, it was in the movie Field of Dreams. And there was one other time where this number showed up with the Queen. I think it might have been in the Minions movie. One of the license plates was 643. Um, the weird thing is, is that it's also like the area code where I live is 712. And then the, the town that I live in, the next number is 643. And then whatever your telephone number is. So I find that weird. And, um, like I've just been seeing it a lot. Like this morning I woke up out of nowhere at 643 AM and then I went back to bed and, uh, I went to work and I usually am uh, data entry, but it's been really slow. So they put me opening up mail all day and they have this machine that cuts open the top of the mail. And, uh, I put the stuff in there, all the letters or whatever, and it cut them and then it jammed with 643 and then it finished with 771. But it's weird that it, it jammed one time and it stopped with 600 after it did 643. So I just thought I would come back and look up this number a little bit. It is also a prime number. And I've talked about this previously. Well, but I, I've talked about it because the, the two prime numbers here, I'll show you. So 643 is the 117th prime number. A town that's 10 minutes away from where I live right now, the uh, the telephone code there is 647. So I just thought that was pretty strange. And I actually lived there for about a year. So I lived in these two towns with a number. Um, also, when I talked about how it dealt with the queen. And if you go to this page of the year, 643, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. It says... This page was last modified on April 21st, 2015. That was the Queen's 89th birthday. So I'm I'm not exactly sure why, like why I keep seeing it. Um, I I even remember I bought some stuff at the store and it came to six dollars and forty three cents. Uh, I believe it was last night. So I mean, just some strange stuff that I keep seeing it. So I just decided to look up the gematria of it. And if you just type in 643, it's 69 and 168. Interesting, because I've talked about how it ties in with the Queen. And Queen Elizabeth II is also 168. So, hmm. So I just typed in, it's 643 then. 266. The 266th day, 923. I don't I mean, how many videos in a row have I made about this stuff? It's just insane. And then now I'm seeing this number out of the blue. I don't know. It's really strange to me. So the 266th Pope is coming to America on the 266th day of the year. And then this number I keep seeing actually adds up to 266. I even talked about a lot of that Philadelphia stuff, and uh, it was Josh Doss told me that uh, November 29th also adds up to 266, and that's the 333rd day of the year, and Philadelphia will be 333 years old, 33 days before that. So I've made tons of videos on Philadelphia. Um, I'm just going to make a short video. I'm actually going to talk about the movie Ted 2, I took, I watched that a couple nights ago as well. Uh, I'm just going to make a separate video, but just kind of wanted to document this. Um, I've just been seeing this number a ton, so who knows? Have a great day. And actually, uh, I wanted to show one more thing. So when I scrolled down here, I didn't even realize it here, but and it says last modified on the Queen's 89th birthday. It also says it's 1707, like one 77 and I said that uh, the, the machine jammed at 643, but I finished with 771 that is the mirror of 17 of 177 and I also made videos on um, 
a while back about how YouTube copyright struck my Ramona Quimby video on the 262nd day of the year. And then they didn't copyright strike it again until uh, it was March 15th, which was 177 days later. And then the 177th day is literally uh, 6 26, the day they legalized gay marriage. And the, the 26s and the 62s all go with Queen Elizabeth. So just pretty strange stuff. I mean, whatever. I, I, I'm really done. I'm actually going to, what I said, make another video here about TED 2. Uh, not necessarily a decode, just a few thoughts I had on it. Um, but uh, anyway, once again, have a good one.